Hello children. Welcome to this session. Hope you all are fine and safe at home. Today we are going to see Lesson 3 Mastering Table in MS Word 2010 Part 1 in Computer Science. Dear children, in our previous session we have learned about various tools in MS Word like Format Painter tool, Applying superscript and subscript on the text. Apply header and footer on the text. Okay, children, can you say what is this? Yes, this is student mark list. Do you know how to make this? Okay, come let's see. First, let us see what is table. A table is a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. Tables can be customized and are useful for various tasks such as presenting text information and numerical data. A table in MS Word is a grid consisting of rows and columns. The rows in the table runs horizontally and the columns run in a vertical direction. Each block in the table is called a cell. The lines that run around the cell are called grid lines. Children, you can see one image on it, isn't it? Yes, that tells you what is columns, what is rows and what is cell. Is that clear children? Okay children, now let us see what are the features of tables. They present the data in an easy way. Then formats and organizes the complex data. Next, they can be used as a layout tool. In our previous session, we have learned how to open a new document in MS Word. Okay, now I have already opened a new document in MS Word. Now we are going to learn how to create a table in MS Word 2010. Creating a table in MS Word 2010. A table can be created using insert tables with grid option and dialog box option. Okay, children, now let us see steps to insert the tables using grid options. Okay, first we have to select insert tab and click the table drop down box from tables group. Now you can see the grid of squares appears on the screen. Then move the mouse over the grid and select the desired rows and columns. How many rows and columns you need, you can select like this, okay? Then click on the selected rows and columns. Now I have selected 4 rows and 6 columns. Okay, now I am going to click on the selected portion. Now you can see the tables is created and placed in the document. Got it children? Now we will learn about how to insert a row or column to the existing table. Based on your need, we can add any number of rows and columns to the table. Okay, I have already made one table on the document. Okay, now let us see how to insert the row in the table. Okay, first you have to place the insertion point in a row below the location where you want to add a row now i have placed the insertion point okay then click on the table the table tools contextual tab appears select the layout tab from the table tools contextual tab select any row or column to the insert okay select any of the four options as shown from rows and columns group Okay, one more method to insert the row in the table. Okay, now let's see. First, right click on the mouse. A menu appears. Select the insert. A new row appears above the insert point. Okay, you can see the new row appears on the table. Yes, you can also add the rows below the insertion point. Follow the same steps but select insertion rows below from the menu. Okay. 
got it children okay children now let us see how to insert a column in a existing table okay first place the insertion point in a column adjacent to the location where you want the new column to appear now i placed here right click on the mouse a menu will appear then select the insert now you can see one more options are appear on there you can select your desire insert the column to the left or insert the column to the right now i am select insert the column to the right now you can see a new column appears on the screen got it children okay children now let us see how to delete a row or column in a existing table okay let us see the steps to delete a row or column from a table okay first place a cursor in the desired row or column now i place it here then select the layout tab from the table tools contextual tab now click the delete drop down button from the rows and column groups the four options are there first i have select delete cell okay select the shift cell left now one cell is deleted you can see next i have select delete columns one column fully deleted next delete rows one rows fully deleted next i have select delete table you can see full table was deleted got it children okay children now let us revise whatever we have learned today uh, tables are used to organize information table in ms word is a grid consisting of rows and columns a table can be created using insert table with grid option and dialog box option the vertical section of a table called columns the horizontal section of a table called row the boxes are squares in a table called cells children i hope you have understood today's concept thank you